Hello everyone, Aerofight here, and today I'm bringing you something really special. It's something that can be used both in survival and creative, one using command blocks, one not using command blocks. Therefore, this is a mashup of my playing with command blocks playlist and my redstone creations playlist. First thing I'm going to show you is the creative aspect of it, the one that uses command blocks. As many of you now know, there is a game rule that allows you to stop the sun in the sky, right? So that's pretty cool. But there is not a game rule to stop rain from falling. And rain can be very, very annoying, right? So I've created this thing that stops weather. Rain and thunder and snow. It started to rain. The weather was cleared again. So it starts to rain for a few seconds, and then it goes away. Thunder does the exact same thing. Thunder gets cleared. All that good stuff. So that's great for survival aspect when you're doing, or not survival, creative aspects when you're doing things and you just don't want it to rain anymore. Okay, so now the survival aspect of it. It what it truly does is detect when the sun light level changes. So base or changes in the downward direction. So basically, it detects when the sun's going down, but it doesn't detect when the sun is going up, right? So you can use this in survival to tell when the sun is going down, kind of as a warning system, so to speak. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to make it. I will be right back. Okay, so let's build this thing. Daylight sensor. Comparator, comparator. That one on subtraction. Block, block. Okay, so everything's pretty similar up to here. Here's where it changes. Dust, dust, dust. Comparator. Torch, man block, weather clear. And that's it for that. So, weather rain, clear weather. It's really simple. Really, really simple. Now, that's the creative aspect. Now, to make this into one for um, survival, you just put, you change that command block to this, and then it becomes sort of a weather, it, it detects when the weather first changes, and it detects um, when the sun is going down. So like if I do weather rain, right, it'll flash, all right? If I do weather, and it'll flash a few times because the sun's signal goes down a few times. If I do weather thunder, you know, it will flash more or whatever. It'd flash, I think, four times. Uh, if it was at full clear to thunder, right? And so that's kind of cool. And as you see, it doesn't flash whenever it the sun goes up, as I was saying before. So when it's clearing stuff, when it's becoming clear. Okay, so you can use this as a um, rain and thunder detector technically. If you're watching it, I suppose you could count how many times it flickers to tell you if it's thunder, if it's rain, whatever. You can use this uh, as a warning system that the sun is going down, though, too. So time set, let's see, we're at 6,000, so let's do 7,000. Okay, signal strength didn't change. Time set 8,000. There, you see it flash? I'm just going to time add 1,000. There we go. And you can see, like, as the sun goes farther and farther down in the sky, you start getting these flashes that it's going lower. Then once it's fully night, the lamp is on. So it's like this warning system saying, hey, 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 it's getting nighttime. And then once it's fully lit, it's night. One thing I forgot to mention, uh, this won't work at night because of the daylight sensors not working at night. However, I don't really feel that's a problem considering if it's raining at night, you can go sleep in a bed and get rid of the rain. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. In the event that you did, it'd be great if you could hit the like button below. And if you really liked it, it'd be awesome if you could subscribe as well. In the event that you didn't like anything about it, I'd like to know what you didn't like so much. And if you could, just put that in the comments below, please. Now, things that you could have missed on the left side of the screen, you'll see a link to a playlist for just redstone creations that I've done. And on the right side, of the screen you'll see it you'll see a link to a playlist of all command block stuff that I've done thus far 
Once again, thanks for watching. Later.